just my views on the Arizona professional development on computer science. Yeah, quick question. Can we uh, download the curriculum and run the samples off the Make Code yeah, website? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi there. My name is Jacqueline Russell. I'm the program manager for Microsoft Make Code, which is a free open source software development environment targeted to middle school and high school aged kids. We support many, a variety of many different products. And today I've been here in uh, Phoenix talking to educators about Make Code. So on Monday, we worked with the Microbit, which is a physical computing device. Um, and we did all sorts of fun activities coding with the Microbit. For example, we used the radio on the Microbit to do a self-sorting activity into different groups. So we sent uh, across the radio names of each other and found sort of our summer tribes. On Tuesday, we worked with Circuit Playground Express which is a fun physical computing device from Adafruit uh, with all sorts of multicolored lights and infrared. And with that, we did a fun activity with um, a fortune teller. So when you shake the circuit playground, it'll come up with a random color uh, light that turns on and it will tell you your fortune. So we've spent a lot of time making some fun projects with that. And then today, Wednesday, the last day, we worked on Make Code Arcade which is a retro 80s game development environment, and we built 2D sprite-based games um, like Eat the Donut and a space shooter game. So we had a lot of fun this week, and I think a lot of the educators walked away with some new tools that they can take into the classroom. Jacqueline, why don't you talk about some of the trends and uh, opportunities in uh, uh, technology and programming, and you sure. talked about that on Monday. Yeah, I mean, when we look to the future that um, in like 2030, some of the futurists and analysts are predicting some of the mainstream jobs out there are gonna be things like an AI healthcare technician or a um, traffic controller for driverless cars and autonomous drones. Um, and all of these jobs are gonna involve um, some sort of technology component. And so the students that we're teaching today will need to have a certain level of comfort and understanding of how technology works. They don't have to be computer scientists, but they should know the language of coding. Um, this is really gonna be the language of creativity and empowerment, and this next digital divide will separate those who speak this language and those who don't. And that's why it's really important for us to make sure that every student gets exposed to computing education. Do you think you need a college degree or can some student master this in high school and take it into uh, you know, the business sector or tell me? Oh, absolutely. I mean, technology is gonna infuse pretty much every single job occupation, not just in the technology industry. And that's why even if you're gonna go on and become a medical doctor or a, um, a mechanic, having some understanding of how computers work uh, and um, how computing systems work in general is only gonna help you. Great, and uh, any final thoughts on how Microsoft can help teachers in the classroom? Yeah, well, well that's why Microsoft is investing in products like MakeCode that are free and accessible for anyone. So MakeCode is open source, it's cross-platform, uh, and we provide lots of free curriculum and training for teachers. Hey, well, I wanna thank you so much, Jacqueline Russell from Microsoft. Thanks, everyone. Had a wonderful time at the first Arizona State of Education Professional Development on Computer Science, where we had trainers from Microsoft, Google, uh, discussing uh, robotics, computing, uh, applying hands-on project-based learning.